So it's Thursday the 3rd of August, uh, I've been watching some YouTube videos on wild camping and it's been driving me stir crazy, so I've decided to escape tonight, half past five, just going to nip up to Loch Lomond, head for one of my wee favourites which is easy, which is Conic Hill, and test out my new Salomon shoes, uh, a new Montane rucksack, and the Salawa Light Trek tent, I actually just give it a wee outing as well which hasn't sold yet it's a really nice tent but i haven't sold it so i'm going to give that a wee shot and just chill out for the night and then back to the office first thing in the morning so we will see how it goes new shoes new rucksack still a tent time to go Five to seven, and we're off at last. Slightly heavier pack than normal. I've got a two kilo or just under tent in there, plus quite a bunch of food and a big uh, Nalgene bottle full of water. So carrying a wee bit more weight than I'm used to, but uh, hopefully the time in the Alps will have made me a wee bit fitter. Lost a few pounds anyway, which is good. Doesn't show on the camera, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll crack on. See how it goes. What you probably couldn't see there was uh, the guy was trying to photograph a wee young deer just uh, grazing in the undergrowth. Don't think it'll show up in the video to be honest. I'll put it in anyway. So as you can have a look, or you just have had a look. That's me cleared the forested area, so you're now outside the camping van on the West Highland Way. Anywhere above here is fair game for sticking your tent up. Loving my new shoes. I think they could maybe do with a wee bit of mud though. Looking a wee bit too clean at the moment. Whew. Stay away to hell. Balcony. Room for one with a balcony and a view. Just perfect. This will do for the night. So this is home for the night, the Light Trek 1. Around about 1.9 kilos, which is quite heavy, but actually it packs very small. I don't know if you can get an idea of the scale here. But uh, it's really not that big. Probably just over about maybe 12, 14 inches long, about five wide, and about four deep. So relatively compact. I know I've shown you some of this before, but as you can see, it pitches as one, which when you're tired, like I am, is a wee bit of a godsend. All uh, joined together, fly shaped over the top so the inner doesn't get wet, which is all good. And then just three poles for a semi-geodesic, I think they're about 9mm or maybe 85 to make a nice stable semi-geodesic shape. So I'm going to stick it tail into wind, um, even though it doesn't give me the best view, just means it'll be nice and stable and quiet during the night. Quite a discussion goes on actually sometimes about what you use as a ground sheet protector. I actually use a space blanket because I find it bounces a lot of heat back and it's very very light and easy to pack in the rucksack relatively robust as well so you get a bit of season out of it camping regularly and then I just replace it for about 3 dollars so it's it's quite a good way for me anyway it's a system that works so three poles just into sleeves 
very like the Hilleberg system uh, for the Sulo and just very very quick to erect no hassle as the wind or the rain starts to come in and that's it a few minutes later and you are sorted nice wee solid home gives you a lot of confidence for a good night's sleep so we're all settled everything's in a wee bit better organised and uh, I think it's about time we get the old dinner on and chill out which is what it's all about let's face it One of the reasons I really like this wee place, just as a wee quick overnight escape in between shifts, is it's very quick to get to. It's also very scenic, but there's a lot to watch, you know, between the boats going, the road, cars coming and going, and that's the other way to the sunset in Greenock, the aircraft coming in and out of Glasgow. Alright, it might not be quite as peaceful as some people would like, but it's for a semi semi wilderness experience for the night, for eight hours, it's fine, you know. Nice wee place. You might even be able to see the seaplane disappear off in the distance. Oh, there it is off to the Tease it. She's still quite light, but the moon's out already. Just peeking out from behind that gap in the clouds. Right, it's about 11 o'clock. Brush my teeth. And it is time to retire. Weather's actually stayed dry, which has been great. So, nice wee night. If it rains during the night, don't really care. See you in the morning, folks. Still a bit blowy then, six in the morning. Earplugs work pretty well, so I never really heard an awful lot in comparison. Quite badly. Back here. Because it's side on, but it's holding. However, we have had one thing. The guy line is so right through the peg, I had to re-tie it just a minute ago. So, that was the night that was. About four hours sleep, an absolute battering, one broken guy line, but enjoyable all the same, and time to head back to work. Back at my desk by nine o'clock. So thanks again folks for watching and until the next time.